Rockies. And a swing and a miss. Just dropped off the table there. And Tapia strikes out. That's a third K for Patino. Well, he's got the feel for that changeup, that's for sure. And great location as well. Splits the heart of the plate. But out of the hand, looks like a strike. Well out of the strike. He is not, and Tatis drives one to deep left field. He drives one to the moon. High, deep, and very gone. Fernando Tatis Jr. with a two-run shot as the Padres on the board. Tatis crushes his fourth home run of the year. and a high fly ball toward right. Harper goes back, and it's a multi-homer game for Acuna. A 91-mile-an-hour sinker went a long way. A three-homer day for Ronald, two in game two, and the Braves extend the lead. Wow, he's four for four in the nightcap. You figured those homers and hits would come in bunches. Three today. And two to two outs in the fourth inning. That one is drilled deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. A home run for Torres. The Yankees on the board. It's 2 1 Nats. Well, that first hit really took the monkey off his back, and now you see a free swinger. And Torres does this a lot where he'll look in early in the count to pull. And McCorbin trying to get that slider in. He was able to open up and just drive this ball out. Yeah. Gibson comes home. Bellinger swings. It's a fly ball to right field. Gallo's going back. Out of room and gone. And the Dodgers have hit more home runs in August of 2020 than any National League team has ever hit in any month. It's Bellinger's 10th back to back games with home runs for him. His guys. 2 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. What a night for Shane Bieber. Man, this guy has been incredible and all time best. 14 opening day strikeouts for Bieber. Stick around. It's Lindor liftoff. Deep right field. Kepler's back. He's out of room. It's out of here. It's a flow ball. Hit it out onto the tarp in right field. And Lindor with a two run homer here in the sixth has put the Indians on top three to two and boy is he jacked up. Well that's something that they needed. They've been waiting for this for a long time. He picked on a hanging slider and I'll tell you what. Always asking. Lifts a fly ball to left center field. Back towards the wall. It is gone. Mookie with another three home run game. In the history of baseball, three men have done this six times. Johnny Mize, Sammy Sosa, and now Mookie Betts. Breaking ball, and that is driven out toward left field, headed to the bullpen, gone. Big fly for Mike Trout, a three-hit game. It's 14-1. And just another home run versus Seattle for Trout. 12 home runs on the season for Trout. That one traveling 405 feet, and that was a laser shot. Two home runs away from Tim Salmon's record of 299. Last year, 154 strikeouts, so a lot of power and a lot of strikeouts. Swing and a miss. Four outs for Cole. Four strikeouts for Cole. During a day game, 
And you'll probably watch him move that foot and ankle there quite a bit today. Crawford going the other way, but Rendon has other ideas. To the backhand, robs him of a base hit, and there's out number one. Such a special player. We know how he swings the bat, but he is a excellent defender at third base. That ball was rocketed his way, playing in to take away a bunt. Gets up, quickly fires the first. What a play by Rendon. You go back to 2017-18, he had the top fielding percentage in the National League. Nice play against Crawford. Thought he had a hit, maybe more on it. Instead, it's an out. Like, you know, one day, I'm good. That one is driven to right field. Conforto back, makes the leap, can't make the play, and the ball caroms into right field. LeMayu, round second, now he's going to third. Here's the throw from Hamilton, and LeMayu is in there with a triple. Tonight. And make it 14 as he gets Anderson looking. Jacob DeGrom ties his career high with 14 strikeouts. Smith launches that one way out of here, and that's a grand slam for Charlie Blackman. And it's 8 to 1, Colorado. The fourth home run of the year for Blackman. And the Rockies have opened up an 8 to 1 lead. On, Charlie. A 3 2 pitch to Santana. Drill. Deep right field. And she is gone. A home run for Carlos Santana. His second three run homer in as many nights. That 3 2 pitch ended up in the cheap seats, and the Indians lead it 3 to nothing. Third home run of the year for Santana. RBIs 10, 11, and 12. Well, he threw the cutter at 3 1. Give him the heat. There's number 10. 96th career double digit strikeout game for Max Scherzer. That and puts we've him got, one behind Sandy Koufax. And we've got to see him do it 71 times as a national. Unbelievable. Zach manipulates. We mentioned fastball changeup. There is a breaky ball for a swinging strike. And Garrett Hampson goes down for out number two. What was the MPH on that one? At 72 miles an hour, it still feels like it never gets there, but that's actually the hardest we've seen Zach Granke throw that breaking ball this season. He will break that thing down to about 67, 68 miles an hour. Goes ahead and paints the outside corner. Gives you an idea of the accuracy that he's had this evening. Swing and a miss. That's 10 strikeouts for Justin Verlander. Seven consecutive starts with 10 strikeouts or more. The fifth pitcher in Major League history to accomplish that. Oliver Perez with a one two. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. And Ollie comes in and slams the door on Pittsburgh. Cruz. A blast left center field headed to the bullpen. He's done it again. His fifth home run this year against Kansas City pitching. I just I, I don't know what to say. His fifth home run against Kansas City pitching in seven games. Albert pulls this one to the left field. There it is. He passes Alex Rodriguez with that single. A little bit of a bobble there by Tucker. Rendon will take third. Congrats on that one, Albert. Second all-time now by himself. 